I was recently interviewed on the Beer Mighty Things podcast, and my episode was published just yesterday. On the screen with me is the Beer Mighty Things pod podcast on Apple Podcasts. I will link to this page in the description. My episode is number 208, titled On ADA Compliant Websites with Accessible.org. But we're going to go to listennotes.com and I'm going to play a minute clip from the episode. The ADA, right? Uh, we're seeing that term a lot. It's the Americans with Disabilities Act. Why are you passionate about that? Do you, or, do you know somebody who is affected by this or you, did you see a need or, or how'd, you, how'd you end up getting behind this? Well, I came across it when it was just an article and this was a long time ago. This was about seven years ago. Um, I came across an article that was about someone being sued over website accessibility. And I just, just as an, of interest, I looked into it and uh, I read it and then I, I just forgot about it. Like I, I went away from it. And then um, it was several months later that I came across another article and, you know, same, you know, same basic fact pattern. And I was like, okay, there's, there's a problem here. Yeah. And so I started just looking into it. I didn't know I was going to be in this space. And I just started looking into it. And I was, as I read, I didn't fully understand what I was reading, but I knew what I was reading was wrong. And I know wrong, wrong in what way who's wrong or what was wrong with it. It's wrong in the sense that it wasn't clear what to do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I could tell the people that were writing it were just really rehashing what other people have written. And I just knew it wasn't, I knew this wasn't helping people resolve this actual problem. And that is still largely true today. When you look through the top results of Google, you will continually find unhelpful information in the form of articles, uh, press releases, guides, etc. Um, and what I didn't get to in that answer was it was more that it was more than just it was unclear, but I could I knew intuitively as I was reading through the article that the problem presented um, did not did not fit with the answer that was being given by these different digital accessibility companies and other people who were writing on ADA compliance and website accessibility. Um, so this is still the case today. It's nobody's telling you exactly, here's what the problem is, here is exactly what you need to do step by step. Now, what we get are really mangled, mangled articles where you get bits and pieces of correct information, but it's also laced with incorrect information and um, really pushing you to buy things that you don't need to buy and things that especially what is especially problematic don't actually help you with your problem so um, that is this is the state of ADA compliance and accessibility it's been this way for years um, and this episode uh, this was the beer mighty things podcast it's a really good interview I really liked um, the the host of the podcast I'm going to tap to his LinkedIn page right now is Kyle C Reiner Kyle is an ad advisor advocate and agent for the food and beverage industry. Uh, he makes insurance for breweries and distilleries easy and predictable. I really liked the podcast format. He has a really good style. It's, it's very laid back. So a, it's a really good uh, interview. If you want to listen to it, I will link to the interview in, in the description along with other resources, including Kyle's LinkedIn page. So I encourage you to listen to the episode.